I am a digital video specialist at Case Western Reserve University and my um, skill set is I'm a producer, director, videographer, editor, lighting specialist, sometime engineer, uh, audio operator and basically what I do in a typical day is I'll take a crew out, um, shoot an interview and I'll assess what is the most interesting background that relates to the topic that's going to be discussed. We'll set up the camera, I'll let them know what kind of lights I'd like, what kind of lighting, and we'll shoot the interview, then I'll probably go and shoot some B-roll. I'll take everything back and I'll um, cut together sound bites that help tell the story and then I'll um, put in the B-roll that works the best, that makes it interesting, that paces it. Some of the stuff that we could do, um, like last year I did a video, a training video, um, a diabetic foot exam, which basically trains, teaches diabetics, the best way to effectively examine their feet and lower legs to help figure out whether they have problems or warning signs or kind of maintain their health. Um, another thing we got to do was a commercial for AIDS research to encourage women to participate in a research study that will help um, advance, I guess, the cure for AIDS. So we're doing things that either help or improve, you know, things in the world. Um, I think it's important to try and help other people. Things change when you have your own children and uh, your perspective changes is probably 180 degrees. You start to see other things differently and, uh, you know, I really want them to understand the importance of helping other people and uh, trying to get them to do the right thing. It's, it's stuff when I was a student, I was kind of focused more on me and now I try to focus more on what's going on around me, within the community, within, you know, where I live and uh, even in the world. I can remember coming in um, as a freshman and all of the, what was then the radio TV faculty, staff, um, upper class students were all heavily emphasizing the need to get involved with all of the opportunities available here outside of classes, particularly in radio TV. There was a, a daily radio news show you could work on, there was a TV news show, there were interview programs, Huddle with the Eagles, Ash and Arrows, there was council meetings, um, you could take camera out and you could go on news crews, shooting B-roll, you could be editing, um, all that stuff really had such an influence on me. So my first job was as a video news editor with channels 19 and 43 in Cleveland. And basically, a typical day is a reporter would come in with their script, and they'd have their tapes, their interview, their B-roll, and so we'd sit down, we'd record their narration, uh, and cut it together, the narration, the sound bites and then I cover with B-roll and typically that would be a minute and a half package, two minute package and basically it would take about an hour. I did that for about four years and at the end of that when I left I basically had learned how to cut stories in a logical way, um, pace the story, pick the best visuals for the piece and then I went on to my next job, um, the Cleveland Catholic Diocese as a video producer in the communications office. So I took everything I learned there, and then I went out and I basically applied it. Now I was a videographer, I was an editor, I did lighting, I did ENG shooting, and I did um, producing and script writing. You know, as an undergrad, you have a limited number of people in your field that you are in contact with. So what I really learned, it really helped me out, is to make friends with the people you don't have to be good friends, but get to know some of the people that you're going to school with that are in your classes for your major and get their contact information so that when you graduate, um, you have somebody you can contact. Um, it really helped me out because I know when I graduated, I ended up hitting the yellow pages. Basically, I started cold calling all these businesses and I had very poor results. And one day I got a call from an AU alum who I went to school with and basically said, I'm working at this new station, they're looking for a freelance editor, 
Um, so she got me in there and it eventually led to my first job. You know, once you graduate, if you have a hard time finding a job, try and connect with somebody to do an internship because it'll only help you learn how things work. Things are a lot different the way things operate. You, you show value by sometimes just doing basic stuff like um, uh, getting cables or being willing to go and get something or do something and flexibility is really key as an intern because it shows that you're kind of committed to what's going on. As an undergrad, try doing everything, you know, if you want to be a um, sports anchor, you got to run camera, you got to go out and shoot B-roll, you got to shoot interviews. You got to serve on the cruise, you might want to direct, do everything you can, you're not going to like everything, but it'll help you in terms of perspectives. Because no matter where you work, you're going to be part of the team. And if you don't understand what's going on with this person over here, um, you might not exhibit enough patience or understanding. Um, every job you have, you're going to take something and hopefully learn and apply it to everything else you do down the road. Um, and you're going to continually be learning, hopefully, or you're going to get kind of bored.